Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chain Echoes. Today it's just going to be me and you, YouTube. Hey, what's up? I usually don't show camera if it's just me and you. Um, when I do, that means I'm streaming. So it's going to be me and you. And I think this particular series, it's great. I like it a lot. However, I think this one's just going to be off stream recorded. So just like Tactics Ogre, which is going on right now. And just in case you are watching this today or later today, Check out my Dragon Quest Treasure series as well. Main YouTube is the review, etc. Anyway, and please enjoy the rest of Chain Echoes. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so last episode, pretty big episode. We played for about an hour and a half. I'll probably lower the episodes to maybe like 40 minutes to an hour. But we got a lot of our main characters back on in. We learned how to use the new sort of mechanic where you're switching things out. I really like it. It's cool. All right, let's continue. Two sweets. I bought a lot of stuff, I remember. How much you want to bet when we get to the top, we're going to be fighting a boss, you know? Maybe even a little bit of the demon. <gasps> Look, it's another merchant. What's with all the commotion outside? You need anything? I really want to unlock deals, but I don't know how to get it yet. Okay, ready to go. I don't know if at this point in the game, like, there's any sort of farming. Like, you know, there's no... Like, obviously you can't level up until you go to specific uh, points in the in the game. But you can at least level up your skills. But I don't know. If, maybe I have to run back and forth to fight some demons if I need to. This looks bad. Told you. A dead end. Oh, shut up. What do we do now? And here we go. I knew. Of course the demon was going to show up. I guess we fight. Is it really going to be a full fight, though? That's the question. Okay. Let's get this going. So, Keelian. Let's start with... Man, I don't even know what to start with him. Is there anything I can do in general? Okay. Not much. I think we just do a regular attack. Take that bitch. Alright. So who's going? Okay. Let's get a nice start with Poetic March. Next turn with him, we'll probably recover TP, etc. <laughs> Let me lower the volume down a little bit. Alright. Pilfer. Can I steal? I can. Let's see what I got. Sturdy Akaton. Whoa! That's an actual, like, equipment. That's cool. Alright, poison shots. Always poisoning the boss. Always gotta poison the boss. Okay, we're in overdrive now. Perfect. We hit overdrive. That's good. Okay, so Petal Storm is amazing. I guess we do this as well. We start bleeding. If, if it activates Petal Storm, we'll be in really good shape. It activated. Okay. Generate TP with each hit. I think we'll start with a nice helping hand on my guy here. I do have an ultra move available. I really should use that. What's this do? Removes all negative ailments. Hmm. Okay. I need to continue applying poison. Hold on. Hmm. Seeing if I need to switch over. All right. More poison. We'll probably switch this guy out next. Okay. Uh, TP regen for everybody. TP regen. TP regen. That's really good. That's the first time I've used that move. Okay, Petal Storm. This one has to get activated. So good. So strong. We have a poison buff. Um, we have a uh, offensive buff, so that's a lot of damage. 142. It's pretty good. And it, did it just reactivate Firestorm? That just happened. Okay, we're about to hit. We are about to hit Overdrive or Overheat. I'm going to heal, and then we're going to try to get it down here now. Let's see. That's not working. Okay, we're going to switch out. And I think we're just going to have to defend here. We need to stay in overdrive. Oh, perfect. One of these work. That's actually fine. He's weak against water. He's good against fire. So just don't use fire and we're good. ba -boo. Okay. Nothing else goes up here. I guess we go ahead and defend again. <laughs> Smack. All right. Nothing else is here. Let's see. He has poison and bleed for two more turns. I could heal, but I'll go ahead and defend again. All right. Armor break them. Let's do that. 55. Oop, these, these ones again. Activate it. Let's get the thing down. Really, really get a low. Uh, I don't know when these things are switching out, man. All right, so we should go ahead and bleed them again. Continue bleeding, continue poisoning. That must always happen. It really must always happen. Forbidden fire. Is that hitting everybody? It did. Okay. Oh, per oh my god. So lucky helping hand. Okay. Helping hand. I don't even know what to call it when it um, lowers the cooldown. Um, yeah, I don't know what to call that. Ultra move? Deals physical damage and reduces all of their resistances. I keep forgetting I should use this right away. 
Like, if I used it as soon as I could, maybe my ultra move might have been 50% ready to go, you know, by now. Okay, anyway, that's really nice. Hey, my overdrive is middled, middled out. Petal Storm, perfect. This one puts me out, but we are going next. This should do a lot of damage. I critted him, 208. Okay. Let's go ahead and get TP regen for everybody. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. TP regen. We're back in overdrive. Fire scissors on Sienna, not our issue. Let's heal Sienna. Uh, what should I do here? Defense break is one. I say we increase it even more. Even more. Hilford puts it down, but there's nothing to steal from him. I think it's important to still put it down, the cooldown that is. So let's do that. Even though we don't steal anything. Another TP buff for everyone? -y? That thing kind of puts it down. All right. Uh, let's get a nice buff for everyone again. Should I switch? I really don't know if I should be switching out right now. He is weak to water. All right, we'll switch out for a little bit. Let's see how good the water attack is. 83 is decent. Nice helping hand. It's pretty lucky. Cross slash is cooldowned. Actually, we should stay in here. Armor break him. We gotta stay level. You know what? Okay, here, here I'm gonna I'm gonna make some nomenclature here. Okay, so when we are in overdrive, I'm gonna say we're middled out. If we're below, I'm gonna say we're below, and if we're overheated, I'll say we're above. Easy, pretty easy, right? Okay, so right now we're middled out. That's good. I just don't know what to call when the skill is ready to go. Uh, I'll say a below skill and above skill. Is that better? No, oh, actually, just just a below skill. A below skill. Yeah, I'll probably call it that. Otherwise, it's a regular skill. A below skill means it has a cooldown. Or, like, it lowers the overdrive. It's cooled off. Okay, it's cooled off. But that doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Okay. Uh, we need a heal? Helping hand? Yeah, we'll helping hand, Victor. We're gonna defend here. We gotta lower... We gotta level out even more. This is really good. Do some damage. Okay, should I switch out? Ooh, yeah, let's definitely switch out. All right, Yoko Giri. Skadonk, helping hand again on Kilian. Okay, guess we armor break. <sighs> okay, what are we gonna do here? Bleed him again? Guess we'll just bleed him again. This one's blowed out. That's cool. I need some TP regen. Extended. Hive mine for magic buff. That's it? That's all you got? Alright, looks like we're gonna heal Sienna. Sounds good to me. Should we continue armor breaking? Uh, I feel like he's almost dead. I'm gonna cross slash him. Wow, I called it. <laughs> it's still not going down. What is this thing? We got a Grimoire shard, by the way. Hella called it. Splendid. We have it cornered. Ready another salvo. But, sir, there are civilians. We have no choice. Fire the cannons at my command. They're going to kill us. Fire. Oh, damn. You have to get up, Glenn, please. For what purpose? The best thing I can do is lie here. Is it another dream? And wait for what? Until there was no one left to take care of you? Almost a year has passed since you sit idly while I travel around the world to save what is left of the bed of the Iron Bull. That's easy for you to say. You are not to blame for the catastrophe. And neither are you. You obeyed your orders as a soldier. You did not know what the stone was capable of. You can't... I know that, Kilian. But, but in the end, it happened because I destroyed the stone. I swung my sword and thousands of people died. And then... While well, I crawl through the ruins, carrying your unconscious body, the corpses everywhere, their skin melted, the stench. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, premature, huh? I will never be able to imagine what happened back then, but the consequence cannot be you hiding here. Glenn, I know you too well. You're an idealist. 
Me? I do nothing. I've just been following you guys around. They then change it. Let deeds follow. Let us find the stone. Let's go back to Valandis. For the past few months, I've not only looked for the troop for the, and for the source of income, but I've been doing research. The stone was a grimoire. A grimoire? Oh, it's a flashback. Originally, this was this name for magic books. Every magician who thought something of themselves published at least one grimoire in their life. And the richer the magician, the more money they invested into the appearance of the book. Gems with magical properties, which were set into the book's cover. Very popular. With the fading of magic, the books slowly lost their significance, but the stones gained in value. Since they had no name in common language, they were called grimoires as well. And one of them caused the explosion? Probably. Probably. The description about its appearance is pretty accurate, but a stone with such power is not described anywhere. You mentioned that the stone was undamaged after the explosion, yet yeah, floated above the ruins in a whirlpool. Then the grimoire still exists and might be somewhere in Valandis, in the wrong hands. It can happen again. You ask for what purpose you should stand up? Stand up and help me find the stone so such an event will not happen again. We find the stone, we rebuild the gang, and then... Dun -dun. Do you remember the original reason why we're in the Band of Bull? We wanted to change the world, and for that we needed power. The reputation of our gang grew steadily. The pay got better, our treasure chest filled up. The best blacksmiths forged our weapon. The finest instructors trained our young among us. We had enough gold for airship and sky armors. We could have used it all for purpose, Glenn. And we still can. We will rise again. We will become more powerful than any army. Like Alfred and the Band of the White Dragon a hundred years ago, we will start revolutions and turn systems upside down. We will end the tyranny of kings and put the reins of power into people's hands. But I need you for that. Not only as a good fighter or outstanding sky pilot, armor, a sky armor pilot, I need you as someone whose heart beats in the right place. I need you as a friend, Glenn. Ah! What a sweet memory, but now it's time to wake up, Glenn. What? What is that voice? Your friend, comrade, mentor, call me whatever you want. The beasts have picked up your tracks. It's time you listen to my advice. What do you mean? You'll find out soon enough. For now. You need to wake up. Glenn. What happened? You awake? <coughs> Where are we? It seems as though we are underground. The tower collapsed the moment we left it. If you have the strength, help me clear the way here. Where are the others? Apparently not here. What kind of monster was that? I do not know. For a moment, I had the feeling it was explicitly chasing us. For a moment? It chased us all over the palace. You must be half asleep still, thief. I'm not a thief. You and your friend broke in the palace. We didn't want to steal anything. I'm sorry. That was rude. You saved my life back there and risked your own. I shall believe you. And anyway, it doesn't matter. So let's call you a trespasser. How about Glenn? My name is Lean. Glenn? Are you there? Ah, someone on the other side. Oh, I thought we were all going to be split up and then we would have to do something. Thanks to destiny, you are well. We must have had quite a luck to survive the fall. Don't speak of luck so quick. We are not out of this mess yet. I smell my asthma, and not little of it. The sewer system is old, older than foreign sports. Nowadays, only sewage flows through here. Put back in olden times, these walls had another forgotten purpose. Evil built its nest in those days. We need every capable fighter to get out of here. Yeah, the sewers are of a different kind. We have already learned this the hard way. Princess! You are well. Rob, are you okay? Why does he call you princess? You are a princess? I've heard rumors that Tarion's princess vanished some time ago. She does not look particularly majestic. How dare you? Don't say any more, or those will be your last words. Then let me find better ones. You have nothing to say to me, you milksy milksop. Save your strength for the monsters that- Oh, save your strength for the monsters that look here. Excuse me, Victor? You're right. The welfare of princess takes priority. I shall forgive you for the moment. You are too kind. This is no joke? She's really Tarion's princess? Whoever she is, she can handle a weapon, and, alone that, and that alone counts. We should listen to the old man and leave. The old man, dude, he's 31 years old. I wish your sense was for decency was for, or 30, whatever, I'm fucking 31. Uh, the old man, Sir Victor, the greatest writer of our time. And therefore, we should follow an experienced man like him. Together, we were able to take down this red-eyed beast and together we will get through these sewers as well. Let's not dawdle any further. Oh, wait, wait no, I'm thinking of another game. I was thinking of uh, Tactics Ogre. I was reading through someone's bio. 
And uh, he was like an old blinded captain. He was like 31 years old. <laughs> In this game, I don't know about this game. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, time to level up everybody, huh? So the most important things are these before stat boosts. Because the stat boost is very, very, you know, it's whatever, right? These ones should go first. At least 10 health. But these ones are not 100% necessary. Um, so I guess we will use this. Inflict two more fighters feel damage to an enemy who attacks the one. Uh, I actually don't even know if I want to be using this skill. That's the thing. Because you can only put so many skills on. Actually, let me look. How many skills? Yeah, you can put six skills on. Action skills. And we're going to get more later. So I don't think I... Like, if I don't care to use one, I probably won't even unlock it, right? So instead, I guess I am going to put one of these up. I, I guess. Let's put some defense on. All right. I'm using all these. These are whatever. This is really good. Crit up. Okay. Leg aim. Lowers the... TP. I don't give a crap. I think we're always going to use these three for now. Save TP is really good. You can level that up. Because he is a healer. Really, really good if he can get that off. Alright, we're using all these. Heavy armor bonus. Lowers incoming when 10 per by 10%. It's actually really good. I gotta make sure he has heavy armor bonus. Let me do that now before I forget. I think I already put it on. I did. I did. I did. He's already using a heavy curious. And we also stole another, um, there we go. We stole a sturdy Akaton. So he should probably wear this. Nice. I was going to put it on him, but it doesn't look like he can wear it. Sturdy Akaton. Priest robe. This is, uh, what's her face? TP goes up, mine goes up, HP goes down by 3. TP goes up by 10 for a priest robe. I'll wear that. That's good to me. Everyone's wearing something. All right, back to the skills. Back to learning skills. Glenn. Lend energy? Don't know if I'm going to use that too often. Don't care about this. Don't care about this. Once again, it's just... Like, this one might be decent. <laughs> Did I? No, this one was already active. I guess I'm going to pick one of these. Now, Glenn's pretty good. I'm going to put damage on Glenn. Now, we are using all these. Don't care about these. I will use... To magic. To attack. To attack? Oh, that's that's my, my, my basic attack. Let's put up attack points. Okay, I think we're good. And uh, obviously the skills are going to be sets again. Nice. And yes, look at that. It is leveling up on its own. We have extra SP if we want to push one over the edge once we have enough. So yeah, let's continue our playthrough. Let me save it. I think there's an autosave, but if there is, it doesn't show up here for some reason. Alright. I... Okay, that looks good. Formation. I want... Let's see. I want Glenn to be here. Him in the front line. Glenn and Rob can be switching back and forth. Sienna and Lean. Looks good as well. That's fine. Let's go. Look, the merchant's here again. Oh, with bad luck. Just when I left the tower, the ground collapse. Now I'm stuck here with you. Can you clear the way? I can sell you items. Anything new? Nothing new. Do I have any loot to sell? I do not have loot. There's not even a, uh, a category, a tab there if it's gone. Okay, let's go look around. Uh-huh. Water. Oh, shit. Here we go. Okay. I don't have any AoE with this character, huh? All right. Well, let's just go crazy. Plus damage. Get that wild swing going. I don't have any AoE here, but I'm killing the bats first because we can actually steal from these guys. And I want Sienna to steal because I think we get... You know, if we're not getting loot, we are at least getting... Um, you know, crafting mats, which is really freaking good, too. Pilfer. Tenor. Yeah, that, that's that's definitely crafting, right? Alright, cross slash again, the bat. We have ultra move available. We really don't need to use it. I think when we do, like, later battles, we're going to have to worry about balancing out our overdrive. Leveling out, but for now, it seems to be fine. Do 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 do. Lost can of spinach. Ha! <laughs> he healed with it. All right, cross slash. Killing the top one first. Pilfer. Yoko Giri. Nice crit. Remember we upped her crit. Okay, we're actually leveling. We're actually going above already. That's funny. 
What are you weak against? Wind. I can't believe we're going over. Let my attackers deal with this. Should be should be dead here now. Woo. Too lazy to switch out. Like you don't have to, you know. There's a treasure chest over there. Let me guess, one sweet. I'll pick it up anyway. There's a uh, thing over there. 300 bucks. Oh, sorry, 301. Ooh, fancy. Okay, there is a lever over there. I will remember that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Can't go this way, gotta go straight down. Okay. Bunch of bats. Yeah, the only AoE we have right now is Yoko Giri and Kirie's Wild Swing. We don't have anything here yet. He dropped the Thin Knight. He's clap, Yoko Giri Chan. Critical hit. 50% more damage, huh? Damn, nice hit. Armor break. Because the attacks are so funny. Okay. Hmm. All right, we'll see what this does. Oh, okay, just, what did it do? Oh, it lowered the water. Interesting. Okay. Wait, can I go underneath? I can't. I cannot go underneath. I cannot. I cannot, Lisa. Okay, that scared me. All right, give me a nice little armor break. Ugh. Look at that, seven more damage. I will steal. Missed. Come on, 80% again, man. Come on with 80%. Can you not? I don't remember. Can we, Can they miss hitting us? I don't think there's been misses, right? Hell yeah. No, don't miss the 80%. Come on. Do you suck? I can't believe I'm missing 80%. It's two 80% in a row. Whew. I'm absolutely leveling up the first. Even though it's going to really lower our damage. I'd rather make it 100% so I don't miss... Don't miss any turns, you know? I'd much rather do that. I think switching Glenn out with, uh, not Glenn, Victor out with Lean is probably better because he, he's primarily like, he does a little bit of magic damage. Just a little. But I think we have more damage. Well, I don't know. She has a lot of magic. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I didn't steal from you yet. Tin ore. Three SP. Let me see exactly how much magic he atta magic he has over her. Um, so set skills. He has magic is twenty seven. She is twenty nine. So a little bit more damage. A lot more TP. So in battles he can like she can take things out easier. So, yep, we're switching these out. Looks like Sienna might stay in then, huh? So Lean, you're gonna go here with Victor instead. And you're actually going first. Never mind. You're gonna go first, Victor. I'll bring you in primarily for boss battles and stuff. Primarily, we'll see what happens. I want that. I gotta go back. That means I gotta run back. Oh God. Well, at least this isn't like random battles, right? So I'm not gonna just be hit. But I don't know how to respawn enemies if I need to fight them again. That's one of those things. I just don't know. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Three Tenor. Man, I could just steal that from enemies. Boo. Let's see if I missed anything else. I can go this way. I want that chest. I can go down right there. That's nice. How's this? 
Oh, I was like, two bats, that's it? Kill this guy first, since we can steal from these tiny boys. You're a weak against dark. Skidoink. Weak against, or poison rather, right? Poison. Go for the bottom screwdriver, screwdriver. Sewer diver. I was calling him a screwer diver. <laughs> screwdriver. Ow. Counter agility buff. Agility buff's pretty cool. Da, 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 da. Go for again. Please don't miss. Tinor. Once again, we, I don't know if we're gonna need the Tinors. Oh, I went below. <laughs> I went below my drive. Don't matter. The game is so smooth, isn't it? I think just two attacks. It's pretty good for my crit rate. Yoink. Overdrive. Why do I always want to say Onigiri when I see Yoko Giri? Hell yeah, there's crit. Imagine if I hit crits on all of them. Oh my god. Amazing. Does this do anything? No. Hey, chest. Do you know what? Okay, so there's a lot of extra chest everywhere, but it, they don't seem to be that crazy. But then I think these ones are good, right? Like these ones that have a little bit of a the gold lining on them. Iron Curie Ace. I don't know if we need any more. I mean, look at that. He's the only one wearing it. Yeah, we don't need an extra iron curious. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, this way, this way, this way. But of course. Look, it's saving again. Alright. I think we hopefully got all the treasure chests on the alternate pathways. You can go up there. Dead endo. What's this? Dead endo. Okay, looks good to me. There's, a, there's an item there. This must be the exit. Whoa. There's something wrong, Glenn. There is a statue in the water. Oh, you're right. And one of the heroes, Leonard, of that. It is said that people who pray to these statues will be visited in their dreams by the heroes of old and bestowed their powers. You need to offer a flask of sacred water first, though. I wonder what the statue's doing here. Pray, you say. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Here we go. In addition to weapons, armors, and accessories, characters can equip class emblems that are bestowed to the party after praying to the statues. They provide huge stat upgrades. Furthermore, every class emblem provides two actions and two passive skills. These can be equipped. These skills can only be set as long as you have the emblem equipped. Only exception. Once you've mastered it, you can set it without having it equipped. Ooh, that's really nice. That's how you freaking cross. Oh, that's so good. So maybe here's what we do. We save every single... Well, you can only put a couple on, right? You can just have it set without him. So I don't know if they mean like, oh, I can mix the passives. Or once I learn the class passive, I can put it on my on my regular passive bars, but that's cool. Oh my God, that's amazing. Would you like to pray? Offer sacred water. Do I have sacred water? I think I did pick one up. Yeah, we stole it from the little girl's room. I greet you, adventures of Valendis. My voice echoing through thy heart shall bestow upon thee powers of ages long gone by. Prove thyself worthy and thou shalt receive the gift. Oh shit, we have to fight for it. We have to fight for it? Bats cut out. Okay, I like that. Let's just start with one of these bad boys then. There's only five of them. I don't need to. We, I don't think we need to switch over to a poison. I think we're okay. Focus one at a time here. Let's see. You guys are weak to window. Swing, ease clap. And a nice Yoko Giri. We created the one we wanted to kill. That's wonderful. Mm. 
Music's awesome. Well, looks like we don't need to do anything too fancy here. Just another battle, huh? Wind chain. Hey, I'm gonna get soldier class or something. You have mastered the challenge, brave warriors, and proven thyself worthy. Hooray! Accept the emblem offered by Mariana, the cleric. Ooh! Now go forth, brave warriors of curious adventurers, for thee are the future of Eldrea. Nice healer class. All right, let's put it on. Let's see what it looks like. Heals all the wounds, so it gives me way more mind. But I don't know what the frick mine does. Can you please tell me, game? What does mine do? Revives Awaken Surge. So we have uh, four heals. Uh, four abilities. So revive a character with 10%. Or heal HP. Uh, heal everyone by potency of 0.3. So that must be, the 0.3 must be my like how much my mend is, right? Raise the mind up by 10%. Enemies take one turn longer to apply ailments for the silence. Interesting. Who has the highest mind right now? I can't believe he has the highest mind. He actually does have the highest mind. Assuming mind is how we do it. This guy's not bad for actually healing as well. You know, I'm fine. I'm totally down for doing that. Set. So awaken and heal all. Awaken is decent. Action skills. What the hell? What the hell? Armor break. Class action. Action skills. So heal all and awaken spirit. He has those two and then the passives. So I guess we'll find out later what happens when we like finish this. Like if I if I max this out, can I put put it on here? You know, that's that's the real question. Mind by 30. So this guy could be a, you know, secondary healer. Hmm. I really wonder though, does does mind actually affect Healing, I want to know. Thinking, maybe her, because she does have a lot more TP. Let me think about it. Oh, she has hella TP. Screw it, she's doing it. Just kidding, she doing it. Skills, set skills. I mean, I guess, technically, later on, they can all learn it, right? Technically. But yeah, mastering these first, I think it's more important than mastering these ones. That's really cool. Man, you can freaking, I like that. You can freaking change your classes, customize it a lot. It's kind of nice. I like how I can't go down there. Why not? Okay, I bet there's gonna be some really extra areas where we have to go, like go find a secret class emblem or something. Wonderful. Quit your yapping, filthy dog. Look at his pompadour and tell him what you did, what you told me. Yeah, yeah, we were tasked to kill Lady Parnella and blame it on the farm sport. Who gave you the task? Why should I tell you, huh? How dare you, you miserable robber. Huh, robber, you say you are no different. We may rob people, you rob the nation. Your ridiculous piece of it will be our downfall. We were ordered to stab the Lady Devec, but you're worse. With your peace treaty, you have stabbed all of Scania. Enough, Barham. He has nothing more to tell me than the others we've already caught. Take him away. It was the last of the gang anyway. The rest is already rotting in the dungeon. Have we found the beast's body? Not yet, but we have witnesses that saw the monster fall with the collapsed tower. It's probably dead. At least some good news. What about the bodies in the East Wing? Was it really? Yeah, there was the body of Chancellor Edgar among them. General Mat Mat Matai? No trace. Would the general really go that far? Prince Frederick, be damned. This is all his doing. Lady Parnella, Chancellor Edgar, both died within our walls. Terran's people would have revolted against the Prince Frederick if he had torn up the treaty and started a new war without proper reason. But now he can write his history the way he wants. He will portray us as the aggressor. He will tell his people that we lured and killed our chancellor. And he himself will allegedly have no choice but to take up arms again. What shall we do now, my lord? Mobilize the troops, prepare all airships and sky armors. I hope to hand over the kingdom of peace, but I failed. When you take over the throne, all that awaits you is more hatred and bloodshed. There was no way around it. You knew that yourself. Probably. Terran controls Warnshire. How much do you think we can resist? We could use the princess. Princess Celestia of Terran? You believe that was her? Chancellor Edgar did, and he should know her. But what is she doing here? 
And this act she's putting on. Take her hostage. Yeah, if that woman is truly hurt, we should find her immediately. You want to take her hostage? Maybe we can still avoid war. This war has never stopped beginning with. We need to act fast. Give haste, Falron. Leave no stone unturned and bring me Princess Celestia alive. By your command. Princess Prince Frederick will think twice before taking action against us. For the love of his sister has reached even my ears. His sister? Hey, we made it out of the sewers. We finally made it. Doesn't seem like they have control over the fire yet. My brother, is he really involved in these assassination plans? Since our Lord Father fell ill, he has ruled with a firm hand. I must hear the truth from his lips. The night's events won't be without consequence for the peace of Alandis. When Prince Frederick hears of what happened here, he will blame Ascania. Then I must tell him that the demon attacked and no one is at fault. So she really is the princess. I imagine her to look different. That's her, all right. So show her some respect that she deserves. Someone recognize you at the banquet. Fawn's boat might already be searching for you to take a hostage. You should head for torment and secrets, and I shall accompany you. Would you do that? Well, I'm a fool for exciting stories, and I have some business I need to attend there. And since I was elevated to knighthood, helping you is a virtue I'm obliged to follow. Very well, Sir Vector. I'm happy to accept your help. In order to get to Tormund, we'll have to cross the Kortara mountain range. The paths around the mountains are dangerous, especially when avoiding the main route. The three of us will have a hard time. Then, we shall find some capable warriors at the Adventurers Guild. Yeah, we can do that, or we can hire someone whose fighting strength has already been tested. You want our help? The help of common thieves? We don't even know what kind of crooked games they're capable of playing. If we show our backs to them, we'll soon met with daggers. I believe in them. They have already rescued my life once. But is this reason enough? If they return the Lost Princess home safely, they will surely receive a reward, so trust in their greed for gold. This should be easy for you, if you think of them as thieves. Eh. Yeah. What do you think, Killian? Oh, Jesus. Help, dead princess. That voice again. Listen to my voice, Glenn. It's important for you to open the door, return the slab. We did not find anything in Farnsport regarding Grimoire. Terran's main capital, Tormund, would be our next destination anyway. We might also be able to ask for information about the Grimoire as the reward. Okay. It's settled. We will help you. I thank you. You will be properly rewarded for your selflessness. Well then, I wish you luck, but now is the moment where I say goodbye. A generous reward is great, but there's not much to buy in the realm of the dead. Take care, my dears. But when I think about it, it can't be that dangerous to cross the mountains, right? Really? You would come along as well? I wouldn't say I want to, but it seems to be the smartest option at the moment. We could use the light of day and move on. Hopefully we'll find more answers in Tormund, Killian. Well, this is hardly possible. If my brother has nothing to do with conspiracy, I must explain these events to him. It's nobody's fault that this beast invaded the palace today. He will believe me. I do not trust these crooks, but there's no denying it. We need their help. If Sir Victor and Lena for it, I will not stand in their way. I'll come along and help as much as I can, but if it gets dangerous, I'm out. She she she. What a colorful troop. Very well. On to Tyrion. And that's the game of Chain Echoes. The soil of the landis may be nourished by blood, but I am sure that one day peace will be able to take root against all odds. Yeah, we'll see about that. We will cross to the Cortara Mountains. Monsters and bandits will await us, and they will be the least of the evils, even if we are in a hurry. The safety of the princess is our first priority. If we have to make preparations, we should take the time to do so. The main checkpoint to the north might be under surveillance. We can try over there, or we can go to the village of Basil. The locals there might tell us how to get through the mountains without crossing the checkpoint. Either way, both options lead across the rolling fields. Before we travel there, there are some places we need to visit here in Sparnsport first. Okay, looks sad. Journal. I can't wait till we get some sky armor, you know? Anyway, let's see. Quest. Last preparations. Current task. Ult uh, visit the ultimate dealer, the blacksmith, and the adventurer's guild. Alright, let's go. Ultimate dealer. 
I'm gonna sneeze, guys. <coughs> Alright. Oh, oh, that went back into here. Cool, now the game's, I guess, a little opened up? Alright, let's go. If you get a chance to eat a plum from Vadi, go for it. Advertising? Nah, I'm just bored. Hmm. Nice cow. Hey, you wanna try a plum? Oh my god. Alright, that's 100 arc. Expensive. Of course it's expensive. Try to ask for prices. Pay up. Oh my god, did he really take my money? That freaking kid got me. Oh my god, I got robbed. <laughs> Little bastards. You should avoid the place and buy yourself somewhere else unless you want something less legal. Pasta, shrimp from Vernassi. What the hell? Hey, you guys come here for the deals? Oh, it's the ultimate dealer. It's a fish. Seems my reputation as the ultimate dealer is known over. No, you don't even know what the deals are? Oh, man. I don't just sell you things for money. No, instead you, you, you sell me your stuff. And if it's something nice, I'll make you a deal. You can sell me anything. Mats, items, collectibles. Give it a try. Get a sea otter horse perch from my body over there and sell it to me. Deals are special. You unlock by selling certain combinations? Wait a minute. Do I just sell them or it doesn't matter? Once you sell one, you'll be notified. Okay. List under deals will show you all available items, which you sold at least one. You can check which remaining items. Uh, okay. Need anything? You son of a bitch. Did I waste my deals? How do I unlock deals? Um, Sell loot. God dang it. Let me try selling like a... Uh, a little bit of these. I have kind of a lot of these. I have 22 tin ores. I'll sell like one. Let's sell like one of these and we'll see what happens. I still have to not unlock. I don't know how to unlock. Boss is teaching how to use deals, right? How about you selfless? Take this auto horse perch. Auto horse perch. Loot is only for selling. Selling it might unlock your deals. Oh, thank God. Okay, uh, starter pack. A fine collection of items for upcoming adventure. Starter pack. Snack sweets, angel wings. Pack of snacks. We have to sell a bitter onion and we get a pack of snacks. Is it a one-time buy, you think? For everyone who hates dots, anti-dots. Anti-dots. I must sell some sturdy buckets. <laughs> I must sell a yak horn. I must sell a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I'm assuming these are all loot. Like, none of them are, like, items that I have, right? Okay, I get it. Alright, that's neat. This is the only market. Being so close to the free cities. A lot of farms for... Uh, okay. Alright, I like that. That's cool. Thank God it didn't, like, mess up. Now, go on, travelers. So, the ultimate dealer is a fish. And then... I want to find the blacksmith. I think he's gonna be inside of a building. Half of the stairs stolen. They're pirates. Uh, the dog. Weehoo! You know, sometimes enemies have sparks around them. They draw more loot. Really? It's kind of neat. Oh! They say a monster appeared in the middle of the royal banquet. Okay, well, we're gonna be exploring. Let's see what we got, huh? I love being a man of the sea. People say sailors don't have homes. Pa. Pa. Oh, here we go. Coconut fibers. Coconut fibers. Da 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 da. Forma looks strong. He's the biggest chicken. Yoink. Alarm clock. It probably wakes to sleep or something. Hmm. Okay. Blah, meow, meow, meow. If, yeah, if you guys haven't played the other like games developed by these guys, you should try out CrossCode. It's a very, very awesome action RPG that has the same kind of style as this game. It's really good. Highly recommend that. Yeah, look, there's an item there. Part of the city is called Floating Village. Yeah. 
Let's see. Only does the woman in shack lives in well, let's just get the shells. Helping shells? Shells? The hell is this? Those kids got freaking sunglasses on. Man, they're cool. Oh, what up? Helping people is my passion. Alana. Why do these kids have are they blind or something? Oh shit. Whoa, ball can. Did anyone wear that? No, I think only only her. So, plus five. Plus five. It's a two-star weapon. Hey, running around's paying off. Sorry, we're not taking anyone new. I'm not in the mood to. Well, anything. Okay, well, those guys, they'll probably give me something to do later. Let's keep looking around. I think we've seen all that in the port. This is back to the open market area here. Let's see. So I'm trying to find... Oh my god, look at that. I want that item. It's freaking uh, gold, so we have to get it. So let me go see if I can find my way around over there. It's gold lined. That means equipment. Hey, kitty, kitty. Okay, he's mad. I saw the monster developing flames heading toward the palace. I believe you, dog. Uh, it's a ladder. Oh, yeah. Two iron ores. I'm rich, bitch. Hank, hank. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I want. Raven cloak. Raven cloak. Who can wear it? You can. Okay. A type of robe. 10 TP. Good mind. Ooh. Yeah, she should actually wear that to get the mind plus. Raven cloak. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. Mm, do, do. Big upgrades. Big upgrades. Mm hmm. I wonder if those are unique, you know? What are you staring at? Oh shit, let's steal. 75 bucks. Laters. What are you staring at? This place is so lively. It's like handmade map, isn't it? Isn't that kind of cool? Bazaar is a world on its own. I like to escape from time to time. What the hell are they standing up there for? Oh, you dirty pig. <laughs> oink, oink. Okay. Okay. All right, you two. All right, you freaking weirdos. Oh, blacksmith. What do you think? Equipment? Uh, have you ordered in advance? Uh, you can forget about it. A huge order came in. New wars in the way. I see what the uh, anvil there in the corner. Can we borrow it? I do have a bit of blacksmithing experience. Oh, right. I read that. You invented the letterpress machine, right, Victor? You are Sir Victor. Huh? I've heard you were in my farm sport. My, literally, my wife literally eats all your work. You can handle it. You can use my tools anytime for a fee. But I should check your skills first. Go through my house. You'll find a crystal source there. Upgrade the boy's sword. Upgrade your weapons and armor by using mats found in chests or monster drops. Upgrading erases their stats. You can see plus or plus plus. Additionally, the equipment gains more slots to put crystals into it. Gather crystals with passive skills passive skills to set into armors and weapons. For example, you can set an attack up crystal to a weapon to have your attack raised. By using a certain weapon, crystals need to be ranked 3 or higher to be inserted into equipment. Crystals need to be 3 or higher? What's the point of a rank 1 or 2 crystal then? <laughs> crystals have ranks. On 3, it unlocks its passive skill. Okay, on 3. And can be set into the equipment on rank 4 and 10. These passive skills is more potent. In order to raise the ranks, you need to combine different crystals of the same passive skill. When combining a crystal, you can choose a base crystal or a diffuse crystal. You can enter any crystal with a purity above zero. Purity? The resulting crystal will have a base crystal purity minus one. We'll have the rank summed up. We'll have its size averaged. It becomes an artificial crystal marked by an asterisk. These ones can only be used as a base crystal, not as a fuse crystal. I don't understand. 
You can set several crystals into a single piece of equipment. You need to consider the amount of slots and the size. I wonder if you can take it off and put it inside. You know that, uh, like if you can take them out and put them in, that'd be amazing. Hey, God, they're all so mad. All of them keeps them mad. Oh shit, look at this. HPF, two HPFs. Oh, that's how you find them. Two HPFs, what up girl? If you want to buy one, I have to disappoint you. The army showed up and bought everything. Look outside the city. All right, let's see. All right. Crystal upgrade. You can only insert rank three. So fuse them first. Fuse them. Oh my god. Oh, you can remove. It probably takes money though, right? Auto combine? No, I'll do it myself. Combine. Base crystal. Purity of three, purity of four. HP up. Oh, this is the same. That makes an HP three crystal. Okay, now, they want me to upgrade the weapon. Upgrade for free. Okay, upgrade for free. And it adds in one more uh, slot. Now they want me to set it into the weapon. Equipment, fusion of the sword. Put it the HP up, raises, uh, let's see, here we go. There we go, raises that 10. So you don't level this up, you just get a better crystal. So 10%. Go, enhance. So it's stronger. Now, how do you remove it? Is it free? No, your crystals will have no purity left and will be big. I don't understand. I don't understand what that means. Um, let me save it. Because I can always reload it. Let me go in and get rid of it so I can see what kind of crystal we actually do get out of it. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. So my new sword, you can see here. Uh, crystal slots raises HP by 10. All right, let's see what happens if we remove it. Okay, your crystals will have no purity left. No purity left. Meaning what? Now we combine. Purity zero. No purity left. So you can only combine it a little bit, but can I continue setting them into my weapon? Oh, so once you put it in, that's just how it is? That's kind of interesting. Oh, there's the autosave. It's in the load portion. Huh. This is a weird game, huh? Okay, Let's see what you got. Well done. Feel free to use my tools anytime. Okay. Upgrade armor. How much do they cost? Oh, they cost the armor. There you go. There you go. The armor's right there. Spear. Increases magic and attack. Wooden bow attack. The degen. Magic up by two. Magic up by two. Look at that guns, ambulance, gun spears, katanas. It requires the. Uh... I wonder if there's a reason to use common katana over Vulcan ever. You know. Anyway, let's level this up a little bit. Can I redo it? You can, but it requires even more stuff. It's plus one only. Great sword. That's a good plus right there. Iron sword, I guess. Sterile mucus. Spear for magic plus. I might as well up upgrade everyone, huh? Wooden bow. It's so cheap, or am I gonna get more stuff? Yeah, there's a lot of farming we're gonna do. And then you're gonna have to upgrade everyone's armors as well. Withered bones. I could upgrade the uh, curious. HP up, defense up, mind up. Man, I love how you can do this. Sterile mucus again. A basic plain shirt. Look at that, a little bit of everything. Wonderful. And the cloak, I need bamboo fiber. Okay. All right, sick. All right, that'll be it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, it helps a lot. If you haven't suffered daily videos, great game, great freaking game. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.